Hi guys, I am going to go straight into telling you for the rest of the week what you have to do. Um, we have, it's opening my Google Docs. Um, in, this, in this lesson here, you'll have, we're continuing my family. And the first thing you'll have to do is you will have a picture of um, the Simpsons family. Here they are. Uh, and you are going to write a paragraph just as you are Bart Simpson, okay? The hero of uh, the main character. Well, yeah, he's a hero sometimes, sometimes the main character of the Simpsons. So you are going to go into this document. You're going to look at um, Bart and his family. So, for example, here I have written, um, let me go, hold on for a second. If I, if I go down here a little bit, just because my cursor, okay. So, aftos ino babajmu, okay. We know how to say he is, and that's aftos right here. Aftos ine o babazmu, okay. Now we have a Homer. I wrote Homer as I pronounced it. Homer. Okay. Now for you guys to write Homer or any of the names like Marge. Okay. We're, we are going to, we're changing our keypad, our keyboard to Greek. Mm. A. R. Z. Z. Mars. So how do we put a little accent mark on the A part, on the alpha, okay? You have to go to your semicolon, which is right under the P on your keyboard, press that first, and then put the alpha in there, okay? So going back, if you're going to put a capital me, mm, me. So that's the M. And I press shift for capital. You are going to press the semicolon before you type in the alpha. Ma. And then I'm spelling out the R. Ma. R. 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 Z. You can say Marge as an S at the end. Okay. Sigma or Marz. Z. That makes a J sound. Okay. I'm erasing that because this is part of your document and I don't want you guys to have this on your document. Okay, so aftosino babasmo. So if you're gonna write, this is my mother, afti ine i mama mu. Okay, this is my mother, Marge. Okay, i marz, like Marge Simpson. Okay, then that is the first day's work, which is um, your own classwork and it will be a paragraph, eight to 10 sentences. So if that's like eight to 10 people in the family, that there goes your sentences. In the second day, if you would like to put your family, oh, photo. See, I didn't put an O here. Uh, of your family, you can place it in here. Remember, that's my family. Okay? So you are going to say, aftos ine obabazmu. If you want to do something that will be even more um, advanced and you can do something like that, some of you can, uh, you can say his name is. I'm going back to this. Remember that we learned this a while ago? Don Lene. This is from units one and two. Don Lene is for a man. And how do you write for a female, feminine? You write tin lene. Okay? So tin lene. I don't know why it went to the second line, but that's fine. I'm erasing that. So ton lene right here. Let me highlight it. Ton lene. Okay? Is for masculine. And tin lene. So if you're going to write a sentence saying afti, ti lene. Okay, or tin lene, tin lene. All right, 
Um, what is one of their characters' names? Let's go up to our picture. Oh, Thin Lene, Lisa. Okay, so Lisa is the sister. You can also write a sentence, Afti Ine i Adelfimu. This is my sister. Okay, I'm sure you're more than capable of writing your own sentences. So when you're writing about your family, that's in the second day and it's page three here. Okay, so I am going back to my, here it is, eighth grade. And we also have, in the, your fifth day, um, you're answering questions. This link right here is the link that you had last time as well. Um, it was your family, Ikoyanyamu. It was that whole big PDF of that book. Okay. Oh, gosh, it's taking a while to open. So it has 173 pages. That's why it takes a while. So if we go to the page that I want you guys to look at, oops, it went too far. All right, we'll go up like this. All right, page, let's go back here so we can see the page number. So it says, Page eight, Liu, his family. Okay? So I'm going back to the PDF. And this is page nine. I'm going up to page eight. And it has this text right here. This right here. He's saying, Afti ina i koyanyamu. Imaste apotinkina. Edo imaste stilimni taihu. Afti ina igonismu. O pateras mu, o li ke imitera mu ilian. So we have questions of who is his dad? Who is his father? Who is his mother? Okay. Who are the grandparents? What is the verb that we used? Imaste, ime. We also say who lives? Menume. I'm going to. Circle this right here. Do you see menume? We live. Okay. So who lives with him? You're going to answer those questions. So that is your independent work for day five at the end of the week. Um, and the other link for unit three is something that you guys had with you, but now I sent it to you and gave you the link in my Google Docs, and it is your unit three from your book. So you are going to go to unit three, page, let's go to see what page it is. Couldn't preview, it's too large. This file is too large to preview. So if we can't, if we can't preview this, I'm glad that I opened it now. Um, I'm going to send another link Okay, this link right here, where it's going to go to your unit three. And your unit three is Yanni's family. You are going to write in the exercise. Well, actually, I can show it to you right now because it's over here. I have it in this link right here. All right, here it is. And it's open. It's page 41 in your book. Okay. And the link is, I'm sorry, it went back to that page again. And you are going to do according to this guy here, Yanni, with the white hair, okay, and his family. So that's your work. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, and I will answer all of your questions uh, through email or through our office hours. Okay? All right. Bye, guys.